from Ellen get the question. Of 
Absolutely. Yes. Yes, they will have to. Even if we approve the students. Yes. And staff has recommended approval. Um, we plan to address that requirement later. It's not a priority. Any other questions? Thank you, Carl. Uh, is there anyone here who would like to speak in favor of this request? Uh, good afternoon. My name is Clayton Milligan. I'm with Level Engineering at 3998 Road. <coughs> uh, apologize for my address this afternoon. I don't like to dress up a little bit, but we've been out in the field this morning. Uh, I think Nancy uh, touched on the important part. What we're asking for this variance only, uh, we're only asking it in, as far as the conservation subdivision regs go to allow us to the possibility of having one individual septic system per lot. We still have to go through all the, meet all the health department regulations as far as soil per tests all those items before a septic system can be constructed. So, I mean, there's, there's still a chance that um, if, if the lot doesn't meet the health department requirements, even though this variance gets approved today, if, if that lot doesn't meet the health department requirements, there will be no septic system constructed on that lot. So we're, we're aware of that, but the all, all we're asking for this afternoon is just a variance from the, the conservation subdivision regulations to allow us to submit these individual lots with individual septic systems to the health department. Any questions for the speaker? Very clear to uh, A majority of that was already in ag field. There is small portions of that. I can't remember how many acres. A uh, small portion of that that we are clearing to build the road. And then we've cleared as little as possible for the actual houses and septic system. To the, roads are in. Plus. the roads are not in. Any other questions? <clears throat> Thank you very much. Is there anyone else here who would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone here who would like to speak in opposition to this request?
Motion. I make a motion to approve the variance um, for a central sanitary sewer system. As based on uh, provision D. Second. Dr. Housing, second. All in favor, raise a hand. It's unanimous. Thank you very much. Our next case is VAR 2016-07, the Dollar Tree, 4626 Bemis Road. Yes, our last case for you today is a variance request by Dollar Tree. But they're requesting a variance to the county regulations that says you're only allowed to have one free freestanding sign per parcel. The property has an existing uh, freestanding sign, and from the photos you can see where there was once a freestanding sign on the property, and the pole is still there. Um, Prior to the UODC, which was in 2006, there was no limit on the number of freestanding signs you can have on this property. Um, so the poll was, was permitted. Um, we find that it was permitted. They just want to reuse that existing structure um, for freestanding sign. Staff didn't see anything. They were doing anything that was out of scale or out of character with the area um, to just reuse that existing Home structure, and we are recommending the approval. I have a question. Um, the dominoes and the, what used to be the family dollar and now would be the dollar tree are mm -hmm. all on one parcel. Actually, the dominoes is on a separate parcel. Okay, so what's the freestanding sign on this parcel? The subway, subway, the, the subway. Mm -hmm. So there are other choice would be to go on to the subway sign? Yes, that would be another choice. about 20 feet. The applicant is here. She could probably answer um, that question. Do you know what the subway height is? I do not. I do not. If I had to guess. It's the same. Any other questions for Carmel? Is there anyone here who'd like to speak in favor of this variance? Please come to the podium and give your name and address. My name is Crystal. I'm representative for ANS Times at 700 West 9th Street in Adel. Crystal Wilcox. Wilcox. Thank you. Um, basically, it was a family dollar, of course. From 2000 to 2014, they shut down. Well, Dollar Tree has now bought out the family dollars and we want to put a uh, Dollar Tree sign there. But there is uh, a subway sign already existing. All we're going to do, they took the cabinet whenever they left for whatever reason, usually they just do a face replacement, but they took the cabinet. So we just want to replace it with a, um, a cabinet the same size as the old family dollar one. Um, it's going to be the same height as the subway sign is now. And um, it would just be, I know um, an option would be uh, to join the signs, to have like a tenant panel sign, however, this hasn't been issued as any kind of a uh, shopping center, so that hasn't been requested at any point. Um, but right now, being, or Dollar Tree would be the only place that did not have advertising in that area. And that's all. Questions? Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone opposed? Any discussion? A motion? So move that this variance be approved as presented, citing criteria D. A motion from Dr. Housium and a second from Mr. McCall. All in favor, raise a hand. It's unanimous. 
Uh, in our other business, we have the approval of the minutes of the May 3rd meeting. It seemed like we talked a lot in that meeting. When I was doing the minutes, it felt like that too. <laughs> I'm just kidding.
We don't have forms. Okay, just put me on the agenda. Yeah. The back I'll let you know when to show up. Perfect. Excellent. Put it work. You don't have any idea what day that is, do you? Of course, the fourth Monday. And I mean, the fourth. You come to that. The last Tuesday. We meet the second and fourth Tuesday. So, is mine coming up too? <laughs> yes. Yours is coming up too. The fourth, the last Tuesday uh, of June, uh -huh. which is the 28th, right? Yeah, but don't block that in. Don't, don't? Lock that in because they're having budget hearings and moving things around. So, I'll confirm that. Okay. Day. By me continuing to work my term, is Nancy going to be off? They are advertising for somebody to fill her slot, and I think appointments are going to take place in July or, July or August. Let me double check on those advertisements, then I'll get back to you. That's okay. okay. It's either late this summer or early fall when the next round of appointments are going to take so she, and, and um, in following Matt's email, reading it, you know, with a slightly more clear head than I had yesterday when I read it. Um, if, if I resign, can she not be? She can, she can be appointed for your spot. Without having to go through the advertising, she can just slide right in? That I don't know. Yes, but, but then you could reapply. <laughs> if you don't show up with your accent, then okay, you just accent. No, I don't want to not, I won't, I won't shirt my duties. The training, Nancy, I understand. I understand the training. Please don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I understand totally. Um, I understand totally. Life happens, you get busy, you can't juggle everything. Something that sometimes falls. Let me talk to Matt about both of you and then I will teach you ladies and gentlemen. But I understand totally. And Nancy, I kind of bullied Matt into telling you. I didn't want to tell you because it hurt my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a question for Carmela. Should we have Mr. Strickland write a letter to the County Commission saying we want Paul to be appointed? That would be helpful. That would be That's what we did last time. Yeah. And while we're at it, you know, I know John Matt's appointment is coming up, and I was going to ask, are you willing to serve in the yes. term? Or are you? Yes, yeah. sure. Like, you're not allowed to leave me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yes. can, let, can, can you make a, a letter for Mr. Strickland? Mm -hmm. Can somebody make a letter for Mr. Strickland to <laughs> send, <laughs> asking to have them reappointed? Yes. Okay. Sure will. Probably could use the same letter as you did last time, just change the date, the name. Mm -hmm. Re don't reinvent the wheel. No, I will not. Okay, any other business? Anything else we need to talk about? No, Don't so. come back until July 12th. Right. Right. Okay. Y'all have a safe holiday. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. Those were super easy, man.